hello guys welcome back to our channel in this video i am going to explain different types of built-in functions in python this is part one in this in this video i will explain a simple inbuilt function in next video i will explain remaining the inbuilt functions so before start this video if you are new to this channel please do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you will get notification whenever we upload new video let's get started this video to video python functions functions are nothing nothing but a, a reuse reusable of code that means first of all we can write some code by making it as a function and we can call that function whenever that code is required so you don't need to write that uh, that code or uh, the piece of code the piece li the lines of code again and again so that is the main use of functions and uh, using functions in our programming that is best practice practices and that will be recommended by any programmer and uh, here coming to in python there is a two mainly types of functions are there in python first one user defined function and second one built in functions user defined functions or functions are those defined by the user that means user means the programmer the programmer need to write the function we need to declare that we need to write the all the code in that function so that we can use whenever we require that function coming to built in function built in functions are function which was which was written by already predefined we can just call that uh, to use it so let's see some inbuilt functions in this video first one i have mentioned here that is print this is very basic one if you want to start with your programming in python you need to know you will definitely i will damn sure that you will start with this for inbuilt function only the print function used to print the standard output device that means we, we need to give any output to the user or console that time you will use your print for example i have taken a variable like 123 and i need to i have executed this and just go for if you want to print this uh, we use print function we, we are calling this way we can call function in python print and other brackets in 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 between you need to write that variable so it will give 123 not only this you can write any message you want uh, sorry so this way we can use print in print this is one one built-in function in python we know that that print is very basic everyone should know that and second one is input function this is very useful function uh, that like the, the main use of this to allowing user input for example if you want to take the here for example if i take age equal to 23 this is like a static one the throughout program this age won't be changed and if you want to change that you need to declare again and again instead of that i will give this uh, variable to user user but i will ask user but we need to still tell something to user right that means what the purpose we are taking this variable from the user so user will know that either you need to enter the age of him a name of him if i so that's why we need to give some prompt here in curly braces we need to print this message based on this message user will be enter the value for example if you have uh, ask enter your age then user know that you need to enter the age here and i will print this h and if i enter the age like this it will give that and another example is we need why what is the what is use of this prompt means i will show here if you want to find the name like name here we can change as a name so here the difference is name should be in characters right for example r and r things so yeah uh, for example if you won't give this prompt and you are expected age here and name here the user won't know what you need to enter so if you want to give the message or prompt is very correctly then your 
you will get the input that way okay and i will show you one thing and i have taken here age as 23 45 but you can see here if you if i try to print the type of type of this age age variable you will get str so the input input function by default take any any value as in string type even you and user entered as int int variable it will take a int data type it will take as a string so i will explain the next uh, next part how we can change it based on user input we need to change either it is string or float or integer so that i will explain in next video uh, that is part two there is a one another inbuilt function is there you can mention that then it automatically change okay uh, that dynamically will change the data types we don't need to manually mention that is int or plot anything okay and next one is type i have already explained here is type and the type is most important and it, it won't be useful for your code but you will get some idea what type are you are going to use it will give the type of object for example if i mentioned any list here f10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 and i will execute this first of all I will execute some values here and uh, string is equal to welcome to things I have entered one uh, list and string here and if you want to find the type of this we can use print we need to print that right so we need to use print and type if I print uh, try to find find the type of L it will give list that is that in type will be the data type of that object and if i try to print type of s yes, it will give the string but we know that so this is the way we can use type function and next one is l length length will be written the length of an object length of an object of is iterable light for example if i just want to find the uh, this length of string i don't need to calculate that again and again so i just need to use this list length, length function len and i need to pass that object here i am passing s s is my string here and if i want to find this I will 21 here one thing you need to remember this white spaces also will be calculated here if i remove this white spaces just uh, observe here now length is 21 now i am going to remove this white spaces from here that is spaces then you can see it will change get in so three will be uh, uh, decrease one two three three spaces are there so this is remember whenever you use L L length function with any string or uh, sentence the time spaces will be counted so that you need to remember one thing and if you want to find the that length of uh, list you can mention that list name that is four yeah four are there and this is the use of length and next one min and max the name suggests that it will give the min min element and means minimum element in the iterable and uh, largest max will give the max one or largest element in the iterable i will explain this what is iterable and iterators are in in coming videos but as of now just iterator iterable means like string list tuples and set are coming as a uh, iterable we can iterate that one by one the iterable means we can that those are iterable that we can iterate one by one so if you want to find min element in that list we can use like that you know that in this list uh, you can call it first I'll print it first then we'll get uh, this is the list i have i have in l variable and if you want to find the print of min of l then i will get 10 10 is minimum right so that it will print and if you want to find the max we can use max function and uh, you can use print before right print max and to print uh, enter that value now 40 40 is the largest one so that's the use of min and max remembering min and max len is very easy because len will give the length of the object and min will give the minimum value in the iterable and max will give the max biggest value in the uh, this largest value in the iterable and next one is sum 
some name suggest if you want to find the sum of it you can use sum by that list it will give the value 100 you know 10 plus 10 plus 20 is uh, 30 and 30 plus 70 is 100 that is the right answer right and this is next one is absolute return the absolute value of a number if you have if you have a number like in minus minus means negative value I have 100 is negative value if you want to convert this into positive we can use absolute it will give <coughs> it will give absolute of this value that means it will it will change negative into positive value so that is the use of absolute uh, you might be used in whenever the cases situations like you need to take only positive value to your program that time you can use this abs value absolutely and next one is power and the power here return the value of x to the power of 5 power will be take the two variables as the input like we need to pause the two variables here for example if i take uh, two variables like uh, for example i need to find the 2 to the power of 3 that time you can use 2 here we need to put the 2 as a base right 2 to the power of 3 it will give the 8 instead of this we can directly use there is like uh, input for operators are there i have explained an operator in our channel you can refer that 2 to the power the 2 exponential 3 that will give 3 this double star means exponential single star means multiplication it will give 6 this nothing but uh, like uh, this you know that right uh, power 2 star 2 star so it will give like this if you want to change this also you can change that is 3 to the power of 3 instead of that we can use this way or this way but i am explaining the things is this is also one of the input function you can directly use like this and if you don't want to use di like directly we can use this pow power function next one this is final one in this part round function for example i have a variable like a it having 123 dot this is float value i have some decimals after the value this is value if you are try to print this uh, value this uh, variable you will get all the value like this and in some situation you don't need this all day after the dot uh, like this we don't need these all decimal values right sometimes the program will be required that so that that time we can specially use round function now we are going to round this is the inbuilt function and we can pass this variable and we need to give the comma and we need to mention how many values you require either two or three i required only one then 123.6 is came and if you want to take three values you can mention like this nothing will be happen. this the oh, this is the main thing is here after you need to enter this uh, variable and uh, that means whichever value you need to round it and after that we need to mention the how many decimals you required after point so this all about the some basics in built function i hope this video useful to you thanks for watching this video bye for now let's meet in next video